Oh, look who's here. Uh, she's a well-being specialist. She's the founder of the Snack on Exercise movement. Lauren Parsons joins us on the show one more time. Hello, Lauren. Hi, nice to see you, Nice Dylan. to see you. Are you, are you in the show today because you, it looks like I need, like, that. Do I need to... Uh, no, you are much too hard on, on yourself, though. <laughs> we all need a little bit of exercise yeah. into our day, but we need to find, you know, fun, easy ways to fit it in so it's uplifting and fun. But I have yeah. been having a bit of a challenge when it comes to eating properly and that kind of stuff, so I am glad you're okay. here. You're going to give us some tips, of course, right? Yeah. Okay, so the snack on exercise movement. Uh, what is this all about, exactly? Well, it's really all about trying to help people to find the easiest ways to fit exercise into their everyday life, mm -hmm. ideally in one-minute snacks that they can spread out right through throughout the day hmm. uh, so that you know we've got a lot of people that are in office jobs or sitting down a lot so it's helping people look you're already standing taller well it's, yes yeah. I, I, I feel like I'm being watched here like yeah. I need no, to but look it's, good it's, for you yeah it's all about helping people to find easy ways to fit it in because over the last 17 years people have told me over and over again that their biggest barrier to exercise is they don't have enough time mm -hmm. so I want to help people overcome that barrier and help them fall in love and discover how great exercise can be and how great it can make them feel, help them to get started so they can then continue on. So yeah. instead of snacking uh, literally, like putting yeah. stuff, you're, we're talking about snacking on exercise. Yes, so we're not talking about okay. food here at all. We could talk about food. Different kind uh, of snacking. Yeah. So we're talking about how to snack on exercise and we've got a whole lot of different fitness professionals from all around the world mm -hmm. who have put together little snack idea video clips. Okay. But again, they're exercise snack ideas. So how long has this idea been around for? Well, I've been dreaming about it for years, really, but uh, now, right now, we are starting the movement. So this time next week, we're starting our first seven-day challenge. Okay. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's something that I've been dreaming about because of having so many people tell me they don't have the time to fit it in and seeing other initiatives out there to really create movements that shift the way people think about things. Okay. So that's what this is. So, so are you looking at this then because you're talking about a seven-day challenge, so you, mm -hmm. you sort of get through that initial for seven days and you should be feeling better after that or you're just actually mm -hmm. asking people just try it for seven days see how you feel yeah well both yeah. really yeah okay. it's an invitation for people to join us and pledge to snack on exercise for seven days it actually starts one week today so on the 4th of October mm -hmm. and people if they're interested in registering they can just head to snackonexercise.com and enter their email there and what we're we'll doing is sending out a daily email with four snack idea video clips from myself and other fitness professionals bit of a weekly planner we we'll have lots of fun interaction in the Facebook group, prizes up for grabs, and yeah, it's just going to be a great interactive time to get inspired, and then hopefully after that, to continue on. I'm seeing the word free here too, which is good. Yes, and yeah. it's absolutely free, yeah, so people can head to snackonexercise.com, you can write it down, you can register now, register later. If you don't register, you'll miss out on the content, but if you register this week, you can join us and take part. Okay, all right, so, yeah. so how exactly does it work? Because you're talking about videos and... But so, so that's what we can look forward to all the time or every day. Yeah, if every we sign day. Up for this. Yeah, every day getting four little snack videos. They'll be about a minute long. So it really is making it very doable. And that's the biggest response that I get from people when I say, hey, could you snack on exercise for four minutes? Like, oh, that sounds doable. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what we want. We want to help the people that are perhaps, you know, busy and work with family and all those commitments. And sometimes you can feel like, Exercise is just go, something that goes in the too hard basket yeah. because we don't feel like we've got that long chunk of time. So okay. can we just do little snacks? So, so why only four minutes though? Because that doesn't seem like a lot of, uh, of time. Yeah, cause... well, that's the idea. We want to have this response. We want people to go, oh, that's doable. It also fits in with the analogy that even when we're busy, we find time to brush our teeth. Mm -hmm. So if that's two minutes in the morning and two minutes at night, could we spend four minutes to actually looking after our whole body, not just our mouths as well? Mm -hmm. and still. Keen on brushing your teeth, yeah, you can actually snack course, while you're you brushing wanna, your teeth. You don't want to swap just, them, right? It's just having wanna... that mentality because we wouldn't go for weeks or months without brushing yeah. our teeth. Yeah. No, yeah. you don't. And then the other <laughs> thing, the four minutes, is it links back to Izumi Tabata, who was uh, actually the trainer of the Japanese sports team, who he dis discovered and d developed this protocol mm -hmm. of doing 20 seconds of really high intense exercise with a 10 second recovery and doing that eight times. Hmm. And so the original Tabata protocol actually just was one repetition of that and just four minutes total and they got phenomenal results. Interesting. So I'm not saying that people have to work out at as high intensity, we all need to start where we're at and mm -hmm. do what we can, but it's looking at the science behind it, adding a little bit more intensity, shortening the time and getting people started. Okay, do you want to give us a few uh, easy tips here? Because yeah. well, I guess we're pretending this is sort of like your desk at work or something like that, right? Yeah, so what, you know, we've got eight different styles of snacks, we've got picnic snacks outdoors, we've got takeaway snacks with no equipment, we've got <laughs> baby snacks and we've got desk size yeah. snacks. Is it wrong though that you're making me hungry? Because you, yeah. you talk <laughs> with snacks so you know hard picnic yeah. snacks sure. yeah picnic snacks outdoors good. yeah we've even got desserts which is dessert snacks is oh, stressed spelled backwards
salads and that's oh. dessert. So they're all about re rebalancing the body. Okay. But yeah, if you imagine, you know, your kitchen counter at home or your desk yeah. is a great place actually just to pause and fit in a snack while the kettle is boiling or while your emails are uploading, something yeah. like that. So we thought we'd just get you doing some of these. So we can be doing, I know this has got a slight movement, I'm not going to lean we too don't, hard. We don't. So hands nice and wide, and, trees, and we're going to be able to lean in and do okay. a press. So do you want to have a go? Would you like Ready me to in? lean in? Yeah, and it, I'm going to get you to press. jump in. Okay, so, so how hold this side? Is, is, <laughs> safety first <laughs> when snacking on exercise. So is there any like form that I should be using though, or is yeah. it, should I just go for it? So hands nice and wide, yeah. and if you just start into that and, then just and leaning down, sort of lean yeah, that's good. And then press so you got a good it up hold and away. That table here, yeah, I do. You know, yeah, that would make a good YouTube clip though. You know, it would. Yeah. So it's great. So yeah, it's and you, you can, do. And you can feel it, and it, yeah. you really like. You can feel it, and I know maybe some people are thinking like, well, maybe a minute doesn't sound like a lot. So what's mm -hmm. what's it really going to do? But you can feel your arms, yeah. and, and it's a nice break from the work days as well. Exactly, and you know you can do things to get your heart rate up, even just with no equipment. You can just reach down low and reach up high. Yeah. Do some squats by adding in the arms. You're going to get your heart rate up a little bit, and so you could just do ten push-ups and ten squat reaches, yeah. and then you could perhaps just hold onto the edge of the desk, do a lovely stretch. Yeah. So imagining that your hips are being pulled back and then lowering down, you're going to be stretching all the way through your upper body and your mm -hmm. back. Just give your brain a little break as well before you then refocus on your work. I've also yeah. heard that stretching as well uh, releases endorphins, like happiness. Yeah, well, can... and also uh, exercise. So getting your heart rate up, adding a bit of intensity, gives us endorphins, uh, gives us that exercise hit, and it also produces BDNF, which is brain-derived neurotropic factor, wow. which literally regenerates our brain. It is the thing that helps our brain to repair itself, to make ourselves smarter. This is why you're a well-being specialist. You know stuff that I... It's blowing my mind here. Yeah, I feel fun. healthier already. But people <laughs> should go to snackonexercise.com and sign up for the free seven day challenge. Yeah, I'd love them to join us, so that'd be great. Thank you very much, Lauren, for being here. Great. And for not making me exercise too much. Yeah. <laughs> One minute at a time is more than enough. Great. Registered dietitian Helen Charlebois is joining us next right here on Daytime.